Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Energy, 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 energy. It's the most amazing. It's the most splendid. It's the most spectacular day, my friend, you'll ever experience, my friend. So I don't care what's holding you back. I don't care what's clogging your mindset. I don't care what ambitions you feel like you want to achieve. Get up. Get out here and appreciate this amazing day. That's where you start, my friend, appreciating this amazing day, appreciating how the sun is gleaming, mixing in with that melanin. That sun is making you stronger and you don't even realize it. The only thing that's holding you back is that mindset, my friend. But this will help. Get out and touch nature, my friend. Get out and be amazed at how the, 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 the flowers are blossoming, my friend, in the spring. Get out here and just people watch. Appreciate people. Appreciate the interests of people. Anything except for feeling sorry for yourself, my friend. Anything except for continuing to rehearse that guilt, that unforgiveness, that jealousy, that envy that you feel on the inside. Anything but that. Right? And why you at it, my friend? Why you doing that? Why you aligning your words, thoughts, and actions up with your truth? Why you trying to be your very best self? Oh, here we go. Make sure, my friend, that you're getting that energy, 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 way up, my friend. Big, big energy, my friend. It's all about the energy. This is the most incredible day. See, I wish I could take out what's inside of me and just give it to you, my friend, because it feels so mighty. It feels so strong, my friend. It feels like I can lift the world up, my friend, and you should too. It's no reason why you're feeling sorry for yourself. It's no reason why you're feeling less than. It's no reason why you're walking around here moping, having pity parties, looking like you're sucking lemons. That's not the life that God intended for you, my friend. But you won't know. You won't know until you first take that step to open up your heart. You gotta be vulnerable out here, my friend. You can't harden your heart. You can't walk around and be closed. Because, yeah, you might miss the very thing that you don't want to hurt you because you're closed. But guess what else you're going to miss? All the amazing remedies that are out here that can help you, my friend. Get your energy, 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 energy. Come and get that energy, my friend. I got a great, great message for you today. Right? A great message. But I was thinking, right? And here's something that can help you. I know it can help you, right? This is what I realized about people, including me. If you're truly honest with yourself, and if you really think back really hard and you're honest with your life, you'll realize that those times, those times that you sold yourself out, those times that you took a short, those times in life that you did something that you knew you were not supposed to do. I know what you were going through. I know exactly what you were going through. You either didn't know or didn't respect your value, my friend. That's the only reason that you disrespected yourself. That's the only reason you went out and abandoned in yourself, my friend. That's the only reason that you made those poor decisions. Because you didn't know and or didn't respect your value. That's why I'm here, my friend. It's not all about the energy, energy, energy. No, it's about God. It's about the very creator, the manufacturer of your life, the one that you gotta get to know so you can stop abusing yourself. The only way you can understand how some, the truly dynamic workings of something, you gotta visit the manufacturer, my friend. That's what you gotta do, my friend, and stop giving out discounts, you know why? I don't care what they're telling you. I don't care what the world make you feel like you have unlimited value. You got unlimited value meters. There's no limit to your value, right? But this is what you got to stop doing, right? This is why you got to stop feeling sorry for yourself. That sorrow will kill you. That sorrow is like guilt. That sorrow will kill you. Not only that, but when you feel sorry for yourself, right? That defeated mindset is what you create. It's inconsistent with who you are. 
So why are you feeling sorry for yourself, right? That defeated mindset that goes on in your sorrow, it creates a double negative in and throughout your life, right? Let's go deeper, let me explain. See, here's the double negative that it creates. The first negative you're already aware of, that first negative is the reason you already don't feel good, the very reason why you're feeling sorry for yourself in the first place. But here's the second negative. The second negative is created because the fact that you feel sorry for yourself means that you are attracting more of the same sorrowful things into your life. That's the second negative, my friend. That's why you gotta stop feeling sorry for yourself, right? And not to mention, here's the other thing. See, life is a lot like real estate in that whatever we don't appreciate, whatever we don't improve upon, it decreases in value, whatever it is. But whatever you do appreciate, whatever we do improve upon, it increases in value, my friend. Never forget that. You are most valuable. Stop depreciating yourself, right? Here's three strategies that will help you to always know your value, my friend. Number one, see this is deep, right? We can't always control everything that we look at, but however, you can always control how you look at everything, my friend. I'll say it again. We can't always control everything that we look at, but you can always control and you must always control how you look at everything, my friend. Never forget, perception is everything. Make sure you looking right through the right lens and looking at yourself the right way, my friend, and everything else the right way all the time, right? And number two, see, you gotta always practice gratitude in and throughout your life, regardless of the difficulty, because you could be facing the worst possible situation in your life, but it could always be worse. That's why you must always practice gratitude, my friend. And number three, you've got to develop a greatness mindset, a mind bold enough to believe, right? That you got to learn how to see yourself the way that God sees you, my friend. And that is limitless. There are no limits to what you can do. There are no limits to what you can be. There are no limits to what you can have, my friend. The only limits are the limits you place on yourself and your mind, my friend. So ever, never, ever, ever, ever forget you were born to be great.